today we are going to discuss timeline in MS project. A timeline can really help you out while you need to report a big picture for your project information. It's a professional looking snapshot of the key tasks or the milestones in your schedule that the senior level executives look for in a status meeting. This is a very much presentable one which may be very much useful in a presentation you will make to the senior level executive. Now step by step from a schedule we will see how a timeline is created and formatted and can be used for a presentation. As you are seeing we are having a construction schedule of a G plus 3 story building where we have uh, scheduled the different tasks that are required to complete the substructure RCC as well as the superstructure RCC and we have two milestones here one is the completion of substructures and another is the completion of superstructures you can see the Gantt chart on the right hand side we will see how to insert the timeline for inserting the timeline we will simply go to the view tab from the top ribbon and here in the split view portion we will simply check on the timeline option now you see one the timeline has appeared just above the Gantt chart but there is no task attached to it now for doing the work uh, easily we will drag it down and uh, we will give some more space to the timeline we have just created now as the first activity we will add tasks to this timeline only important tasks should be attached to the timeline so that in any meeting you can talk about the major milestones or major tasks and show them to your audience instead of displaying the whole of the program which may be 500 or 1000 lines or even more than that so we are now as a first task we are attaching the rcc of foundation this is a very major task the rcc of foundation so we will uh, how to add this to the timeline we will simply go to the task in the gantt chart below and while selecting the task we will right click and click on the add to timeline you can see from here there is an option add to timeline we will click on that now you see in the timeline we have created few seconds back is now having one task on it that's it that is the rcc of foundation and while we are pointing our mouse pointer on that we can see the detail of the task there's the rcc of foundation task is uh, will start on 23rd may and it will finish on 29th may and the duration is seven days as we have just created the schedule the percent complete is zero percent because we have not yet tracked the schedule now we will go on with adding other major tasks like uh, the plain beam rcc is there we will simply select the task we will go to add timeline by right clicking the menu and we will add this task as well in the timeline well there are other important tasks also like the ground floor slab rcc we can add this to the timeline as well the first floor slab rcc we will add this to the timeline as well then the second floor slab RCC and third floor slab RCC. So all these tasks are added to the timeline. Now going ahead, we can also add the milestones. We have two milestones in this schedule. One we have kept uh, at the completion of the substructures. This is a, this task and another is the completion of the superstructure. So the same way we have added the tasks to, to the timeline, we can add the milestones to the timeline as well we'll right click on the milestone and then click on the add to timeline so you see here the completion of the substructure this milestone has been added with a different symbol and then we will add this milestone to the timeline in the same way so again here is another uh, milestone is added we can change the color of the milestones by clicking on it and then clicking the uh, relevant buttons from here we can make it bold we can make it italic even we can change the font to say Arial and we can also change the font sizes as well 
so we are also changing it here let's make it 10 italic and bold also change the formatting of the tasks which are added to the timeline we can simply select the task then click the color we want to add to it let's add blue to this similarly we can change the font sizes and font colors of the tasks when it is added to the timeline for experiment we are showing one thing that if uh, the two tasks are simultaneously progressing then how it should look on the timeline mm, for example make this third floor slab with a different relationship 22 ff plus 4 so 22 and 23 th these two tasks will be progressing simultaneously for a certain period so it is now being shown on the timeline as well if you feel that you need more space you can change the text lines from here under the format tab we can change it to four five six or whatever required so the space will be increased or decreased accordingly your choice the all the tasks which we have added to the timeline are being shown as a can shirt but we can show them as a call out also just we have to select on the task then click display as call out from the format tab the task is being shown like this call out can be moved side by side or up or down as we want so this will be a better representation if you want also you can control select the multiple tasks and then change the color or the font size together from the relevant place like we have just changed here now that our timeline has been prepared now we want to display it in our presentation so what we will do we will go to a powerpoint presentation blank slide then we will come back to the microsoft project schedule and go to format and from format in this copy timeline we will choose this for presentation option we'll click on that and now we will go back to the powerpoint presentation by clicking ctrl v so your timeline is now in your presentation which you can now show to your audience which is a senior level executives who want to just focus on the key points of the schedule instead of going through the schedule line by line which may be a very big one so you see this is a very much presentable uh, presentation now uh, with focusing on the key points like RCC of foundation ground floor slab first floor slab second floor slab and third floor slab as we have uh, here for example we have um, created uh, the third floor slab uh, duration uh, progressing simultaneously with the second floor slab which uh, may not be the actual case but for example we have uh, shown here uh, simultaneously progressing tasks will look uh, like in the timeline of a Microsoft project schedule